Welcome to another episode of UCRD Reviews. So today I have another KA Signature Robot Spirits figure that's a P Bandai exclusive. And it's another Nero. The last time I did a review of a Nero it was the trainer type. And this one is the standard model. Now we've had a figure of this standard model Nero before. But they went back and they updated it as a Marking Plus version. So this is the Nero Lunar Landing type marking plus version the MSA 007 so I'm curious to see what got changed now I don't have the original Nero figure but I do have the Nero trainer type which you can make it look like a regular Nero if you saw the review so I'm gonna do a little comparison and then we're gonna check out some of the accessories and mainly look at the figure itself and see what's different because that's I think the accessories and everything are pretty much the same. It does come with a new piece for its um, for its backpack here, so we'll check that out too. So let's take a look at it. All right, so here's the Nero, the lunar landing type. So you can see right off the bat here that there's lots of little decals. You have the uh, numbers there, the PG, EFSF. You have that right there. So there's a lot of neat details in here now. You have the uh, beam saber holders right there. The head seems to be panel lined just a little bit. And it looks good. I, I can't tell if they changed the sculpt on it. The chest, it looks like they did change the sculpt slightly. They put these fins on here that weren't there before. Now, I've never seen them in the line art or anything, so I don't know where they got the idea to do that. I think it's just kind of extra detail. But it holds the same articulation. You have the beam saber recharge racks in there. The feet move around. The feet are kind of slender, so you have to position them just right to make the figure stand up on its own really well. But otherwise the shoulder armor looks good. I mean, it looks like a nice figure, so let's get the backpack here and check that thing out. So the Nero's backpack is going to be very similar to the one we've already seen. Granted it has some more details on here. And you do have the, the little uh, fuel pods here that go on the sides. They just plug right in, very similar to the trainer type. And they, again, they have more detail on them this time around. They're not just plain, which is going to be a common theme in a Marking Plus version figure. Now there's one extra piece on this backpack that we haven't seen before. It actually plugs in up here, and that's this big giant canister here. Now, I don't exactly know what this piece is or why it was included necessarily or frankly how it goes on here. There we go. And so that's the new backpack. So we're going to take the figure and it just plugs right into the back. Real easy. It looks good. I like it. Now, just like the trainer type, you do have these little pieces on the back of the leg that can be removed. I think in my trainer type video I said foot. And that's incorrect. That is the leg. And then you just place them right back here, upright, like that. And you can do one on the other side as well. Now, the Nero also comes with the standard assortment of hands which I'll get out of here. So these are your, uh, like your standard neutral hands. And these are the hands that really don't want to come out. These are your like more dramatic posing hands for holding like the rifle and stuff. And then these I believe, these are your beam saber hands. 
so they're kind of angled. And then finally here, dug in, are your gun hands. So it's a pretty standard assortment of hands here. You also get this little piece here, which didn't come with my trainer type, but it's a blank front to the shoulder. So you can pop this piece off. And I guess if you don't want the emblems on there, you know, the 18 and stuff, you can put this piece on instead and have it blank. Now for weaponry, just like the other Nero, we do have the beam sabers, which this time around are a little bit more detailed just because they have that decal on them. And they fit into the leg beam saber rack in the same fashion. So this little rectangular piece there goes upward and they just kind of go down and in, just like that. Then if you want to grab them, you can kind of pry them up and out. They're really stuck in there, but they, they can be removed. So let me put the figure down here for a second. So the beam savers come with blades. And like I explained in my trainer type review, the beam savers are really small. This is not a standard beam saber size, but that's kind of neat that they went to this detail. I wasn't aware that the Nero's had smaller type beam sabers, but I guess they do. And you also get the beam rifle. The Nero has this funny looking beam rifle. Being the marking plus version, you have some added details in here. So you have uh, this little piece around the scope. You have a decal there. And everything's, I mean, it looks nice. It's all single color aside from the scope here. So that's a good piece. So let's go ahead and compare the two figures. So this is my Nero trainer type, done up to look like a regular Nero. And uh, for those of you who watched the review, you know that I really like this figure. It is really detailed, and it looks really good. It's a pretty solid figure. I enjoyed it quite a bit. But then you pull this one up, and now the trainer type doesn't look so detailed anymore. But that's just because the sticker sheet that comes with the trainer type is basically what you get here as well, except they put it on for you. Now in terms of differences, you'll notice there are really minor sculpt differences. Obviously the chest is different, it looks like. The head, I can't quite tell. I don't think they changed anything in the head. Maybe made it a little more slim, but I don't think anything changed there. The shoulders, you know, they have these little black pieces everywhere. Those are your major change. So in the skirt armor, in the legs, the feet look like they're just kind of repainted. I don't think they changed anything with the feet. Now on the back here, the backpack's obviously been changed and it's more detailed. The rear skirt armor looks like it was changed slightly, the verniers look a little bit different. The rear of the legs, they just have these little added details here. The same with the arms. So you have these little, they're just, I don't know what they are, they're just details and they're not present here. So that's the big difference. So you have the decals, you have these slight sculpt changes, and then you have the new backpack. Other than that, they're the same figure. But this one looks a lot nicer just because you paid extra money for it. So the Robot Spirits line went and decided to re-release the Nero in a Marking Plus version. And they gave us a new backpack and a new shoulder piece as well. For people like me that missed out on the original Nero's release, this is kind of nice because it gave me another opportunity to buy the figure. Granted, the figure never rose to insane prices in the first place, so it was mainly a decision of do I want to buy this one for a little bit more money or go and buy the original for about 7,000 yen. 
and I decided, of course, to buy the more expensive one, because that's how I am. Being a lunar landing type, I'm guessing that's in reference to the backpack. Otherwise, I, I don't know what they're getting that from. You know, the fence on the chest, as well as the backpack, um, I, I don't know where they're sourcing that material, or if it's something made up for this KA Signature line. Um, but other than that, this is a really solid figure. It looks great, you know, I like this just as I like the trainer type, although it makes my trainer type look really plain, comparatively. But this is another solid release from the KA Signature line. And like I said, if you don't have a Nero, this is definitely one to pick up, because it is a gorgeous looking figure. I'm going to try and have all three, so I'm going to pick up the Ewak Nero eventually. But for now, I mean, this one looks really nice. I'm glad they did this marking plus treatment on this figure. And I hope they start doing this more often, just for the people that miss out on those original releases. You know, they've done it a few times, but I think there's more figures they can do for a re-release. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.